Hey guys, so I want to start off with an apology. I had to uh, skip last week due to a couple of things. Busy schedule combined with uh, an equipment malfunction that seems to be hopefully fixed at this point. Um, basically, I couldn't get the videos off my camera onto my computer to edit them. So I ended up not being able to post. I recorded both videos, the recap for week uh, four and the predictions for week five. I recorded both of those, but it just wouldn't let me load them onto my computer. I finally got it sorted out, so I'm thinking I should be good here. I'm just going to skip a week five recap since I didn't get to post a week five video for the predictions and go right into the week six predictions video. So, week six. This week has quite a lot of games. Um, I think it has some uh, playoff implications in these. It's going to be how, how certain teams will stack up. Certain teams have a chance to win for the first time in a few years against an, a rival. Uh, but we got, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just start right into it. Next is, uh, the first game on the list is uh, number 17 Louisville at number 24 NC State. Um, I got Louisville winning this one, but it's going to be a close game. NC State has played all the top teams in the ACC pretty dang close the last few years. So I'm thinking it, they keep it close here, but I just think that Lamar Jackson and Louisville can take that next step up and win this one. That game is tonight, by the way. Next is number four, Penn State at Northwestern. I think Penn State will win this one. Uh, I think Northwestern might be able to hang in there for a little bit, uh, maybe until the fourth quarter, but I got Penn State by a double-digit victory. Next is number 21, Notre Dame at North Carolina. I got Notre Dame in this one. Um, North Carolina's kind of had a disappointing season. But, that being said, they can still put up some points, so Notre Dame needs to be on their top game. Number 11, Washington State at Oregon. I had a shootout here. I got Washington State winning a road game here in a shootout. I just, I don't know that uh, either team's defense is particularly uh, ready to stop the other team's offense. Next is Wake Forest at number 2, Clemson. This game can go one of two ways. This game can be really, really close, or just a complete and utter blowout. Um, I got Clemson winning the game, uh, but I'm kind of leaning towards close for most of the game. Wake Forest has a habit of playing up to their opponent. Iowa State at number three, Oklahoma. I got Oklahoma winning this one. I just, I don't think Iowa State's ready to compete. Number five, Georgia at Vanderbilt. I've got Georgia winning this game. I kind of feel bad for Vanderbilt, but I think this is another big blowout for, uh, for Georgia. Ole Miss at number 12, Auburn. I got Auburn winning this game. Um, Ole Miss is obviously a shadow of its former self. Uh, after last week's 66-3 whooping at the hands of Alabama. I see another blowout uh, for Auburn here. Next is number 23, West Virginia at number 8, TCU. I think we're going to have a high scoring close game in this one. I got TCU on a slight edge. I got TCU winning this game. Next is number 13, Miami of Florida at Florida State. Now, this is, I believe, Miami's best chance to beat Florida this year. And I think Florida State, I mean, and I think they will. I got Miami Florida winning this game. I believe the Hurricanes have a solid team this year. A really good looking team actually. And um, Florida State is not looking so good. Uh, they lost Alabama. They lost NC State. They have beaten a team so far. They do have one win. But it was a close win against Wake Forest. It's just they don't look like the, the old Florida State. 
They have a seven game win streak, however, against the uh, Miami Hurricanes on the line here. But I got Miami winning. LSU at number 21, Florida. Um, I got Florida winning this one unless LSU has somehow fixed their problems on offense and defense recently. Um, Florida should win. Uh, Maryland at number 10, Ohio State. Um, I have Ohio State winning this one. I think Maryland will keep it close. Maryland's been doing a lot better this year than they have in the past, but I got Ohio State winning. Oregon State at number 14, USC. I think USC gets lucky with a bounce back game here. Um, scheduling such an easy opponent after um, losing to Washington State. Uh, number one, Alabama at Texas A&M. I got Alabama winning this game. Um, I think Texas A&M could keep it close, but uh, I just think it's hard to pick against Alabama right now. Number 16, Virginia Tech at Boston College. I got Virginia Tech winning this game. I think Boston College does what they've done all year, keeps it close for three quarters, gets blown out in the fourth. Michigan State at number 7 in Michigan. This one was actually hard to pick. Um, I think we're looking at Michigan possibly having their first back-to-back -back wins in the series for a, uh, for quite a few years. Um, I could be wrong about that. But I got Michigan winning this game, but I think it's going to be a squeaker. I think they're going to barely escape with it. Next is number 9, Wisconsin at Nebraska. Uh, Nebraska hasn't shown me a lot to be impressed by this season, so i got to go with Wisconsin on the win here. Number 25, University of Central Florida at Cincinnati. Uh, I got UCF winning this game, puts them at 4-0, keeps them in the top 25. Next is Stanford at number 20, Utah. I actually have Stanford winning this game. I think Utah's a good team, but Stanford's just got a little bit of an edge on them. It'll be a close game, though. Next is California at number 6, Washington. I got Washington winning this game. I just I don't see California being able to keep up with them. Number 19, San Diego State at UNLV. I have San Diego State winning the game. Um, I just I think UNLV's got a lot going on, um, and I don't think that they'll be able to um, to be able to take down uh, San Diego State. Air Force at Navy. Now, this is one of my two added games this week. Um, I have Navy winning this game, which puts Navy, I believe, at 5 or 6-0, and, um, and puts them in a position I think they could squeak into the top 25. Uh, next is Missouri at Kentucky. Now, I'm picking Kentucky to win this game. Missouri's been kind of limping along all season, and I think Kentucky gets a solid win here. And when you look at their schedule, a at that point they would be five and one with that one loss being a one point loss to Florida. I think that could make an argument for Kentucky to be in the top twenty five, which would be a huge leap for them, seeing as they have not been in the top twenty five in a long time. So that's it for week six. I got a total of twenty three games this week. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to be out of town for most of them, but I'm super excited to see the results. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you're having a great time. I'm certainly having a great time doing this, and I hope to catch you guys again on the next video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.